Well, let's uh, take the little ass cot again for another ride. I'm gonna go to the gas station and fill it up. I sure picked a very cool day to ride. A bike without a windscreen and just very minimal protection. And one of the things you're gonna find is that the handlebars on the Ascot are very narrow and it probably would do well with a more traditional like mo motorcycle ADV bike handlebar where it's a little bit wider. At least I like the, the wide handlebars a lot more. Just, okay, it was in fifth gear, it was doing really well. Now I'm in overdrive, just chilling. Alright, downshift. And it wants to lose power. And there's definitely like some weird thing happening. I think I do have an issue with it. It could be like air as well. It could even be something as simple as my air box. Um, it could be some of the things that could be wrong is just there's some air mixing in and that would be the reason it's slowing down under pressure. Changing the rear uh, drive oil and I'm going to be changing the engine oil again just because you know the bike sat for so long. By the way this is a, a really bad design flaw with gloves it's kind of hard to get into the key. The, uh, it's, it's as if like my legs are higher than the gas tank. It feels like I'm riding like a moped without a gas tank or a very minimal gas tank. It's just kind of odd. It's not uh, insane. It just seems like you know the gas tank on this is like a 2.5. It's very small. All the lagging seems to have uh, magically disappeared. Very smooth engine. You know, I was reading up that people thought it vibrated too much. Jesus, it doesn't vibrate anything. Seems like the biker boys are not out today. I wonder when I go into these rotundas if uh, people are going to stop. Because, you know, people in Maryland, they don't really like using those rotundas and apparently Maryland's got the most rotundas in the entire country nice little country roads here at one point this used to be farms yeah I thought the Ascot was no like this motorcycle was named after the tie I looked up Ascot and I was thinking okay Ascot means something regal or something something to do with speed or some prestigious thing but no it's like a scarf it's a necktie and then after more research you know before I started putting out fake news I realized that there's this Ascot Park in California and I think that's what it was named after they only brought it here for two years look at that it moves this thing and imagine this thing only has 16,000 miles. That's nothing. That's barely any miles. That's cut power. Uh, it's a little bit laggy. God, it's so cold my hands are freezing oh, but I do like the experience of the wind hitting you because well you know let's face it most bikes nowadays even sport bikes have decent windscreens and half of them don't need it because half of those guys or actually 95% of those guys they uh, don't ride in the winter they don't ride when it's cold. Notice that my little bolt here on my clutch lever is coming loose. I think the washer underneath rattled off. Oh, the bike is doing really well now. It's actually riding better than before. But just look at it. I'm just like looking at it. I can't believe it's from 1983. 
and it still looks freaking good. How's my tire holding? It looks seems to be good. You see the uh, forks are almost like cruiser like like angle this way so the um, wheelbase is actually kind of long so it makes it very stable and the wheels are bigger sizes than sport bikes so they're they're even more stable just kind of an incredible little thing and the seat is uh, looking good this is what I don't like about the key and I heard about this complaint as well it's hard to turn the key when you have gloves on because they put it so close to the dash with the large wheels and everything it does really well listen to that engine and I'm not even like revving it super high oh windy Man, this guy, I do not enjoy cycling in cold weather. But this guy's going fast. Super fast, man. And you know, the temperature on this bike goes down quite a bit as soon as you turn it off. But because it's so cold today, look at that overdrive. Beautiful. Shout out to Daisy Import. These guys have some really cool cars, like that Porsche. Look at this. Check out some of these cars that these guys have. Look at that. That's a Acura NSX, another Acura NSX. That's a car I would love to have. Two more Acuras over there. That's the 240SX. There's another Acura, to, Acura over there. A Nissan hard body over there. Listen to that motor roar, Jesus. This bike does like to get the revs up listen to that 7,000 rpms 7,000 for coming along with me on the 1983 Honda Ascot VT 500 kind of a cool little bike and hopefully I'll work out all the kinks on this thing but it's gonna take me some time I hope you guys uh, like it and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here the cops won't bother me